Hello, I'm Martin Glenn and I'm here to talk to you about ICT at Monkseaton High School. We are in a, a science ICT area, which is computers for the science department. And is this sort of different to how it was in your old school? Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, there were nowhere near as many computers. The departments didn't have their own computers, so if you need, there was one central computer area, and if you needed computers, that's where you went. Whereas now, every department pretty much has their own computers. Hi, my name's Andrew Johnson. I'm the network manager at Monkseaton High School. In the old building, you'd have to look around to find the free machine at lunchtime or after school. But in here, there's so many computers that you can always find somewhere to sit and, and sort of work independently. I think a lot of students get a lot out of that as well. Every day, pretty much, you use the computers. Whereas before, it was occasionally, you know, but now it's every day. So it's integrated a lot more into the lessons and the teaching, whereas before, because there was so few, they couldn't rely so much on them for that. The design of the building is such that we've got a lot of open spaces, so ICT is accessible anytime, anywhere, for all students and staff. The design of the new school means that we can actually plan lessons completely differently. We can incorporate ICT all the time. We don't have to look ahead and see if we'll be able to access PCs or learning areas. We know that we'll be able to do that. In this school, there's IT in every level, and you go out from the classroom to use the IT when you need to, and that's very efficient. But the IT we have here is much more sophisticated in a number of different ways than the IT we had in the old school. So what we're going to do, we're making our Space Invaders game. Kodu is a software with Microsoft that allows them to develop games. And we have to, like, create your own character and then you have to program it by using different keys on the keyboard and program it to do different things like moving and shooting. The Xbox controllers I find are easier to use because I've got an Xbox at home. They've been developing Kodu over the year so far so what we've started doing is getting them into the controllers and actually producing a video game. We'll make one Deathrow Station game. My game has lots of trees and you have one person trying to defend the trees against the loggers come and knock the trees down. It's quite fun because it's something different to do. It's like interactive while reading, you're just reading. It like, pulls in the audience of everyone. Everyone prefers to play the games than just sit and read about it. It's really focusing on what they're interested in as well. The Xbox and the controllers and the video games are something they're used to. And it's quite a nice way of teaching them about deforestation through something that they enjoy. So they're really engaged in it. <laughs> Just about every single lesson includes some sort of ICT, whether it's a video clip for two or three minutes or a, f a full video clip or students online marking, researching. I don't think I could survive without it, to be honest. One of the main things we've done in the last few years is we've moved from SharePoint 2007 to 2010. And this has allowed us to, to set up some new features for the students, which is basically the student dashboard. There's a whole range of tools that uh, they have to hand. This is our uh, student homepage. You can adjust it and move stuff about. And uh, on here we have timetables, grades and stuff for uh, your individual subjects. If you get reward points, which is more for the lower school. Attendance, um, homework. So if you get any homework, teachers will put it up and then you can look at it and then there's a bit here where you can now you'll be able to put documents online. They actually go on the student dashboard all of the time. They see that if you walk around school they're on the dashboard, they can see news, that emails are fed through, the RSS feeds, blogs, they can see what's happening in school, they can see what homework assignments have got and when. It just makes you a lot more organised. So if I forget what lesson I have, I'll just quickly log on. Obviously in the school you can log on anywhere and it just like that, you know, really quick, and just check what lessons you have. They have email that allows them to communicate within the building with anyone. We all use email a lot, so if you need to talk to a teacher rather than chasing them down, you just send them an email and they'll get back to you quickly. Um, and we can get that through our phones as well, we can get the email through our phone. So, and the teachers do that as well, so it's just everybody's quite well connected. Well, we've had a lot of positive feedback from the students.
We've also got a parents dashboard and the staff dashboard that go with that as well. Um, and the basic uh, premise of those is to provide like one area where people can go and they'll find out all the information without having to delve into other sites or go elsewhere. They can literally go onto the site and that'll provide everything they need. I do go on the website quite often just to check uh, any progress of, of the girls because I've got two girls in this school and I have to say I'm really impressed with the information that it holds on there in terms of how they're doing, how many postcards they've had uh, for particular good effort uh, and uh, you know if there's any lessons that they've got a difficulty with. It's a massive improvement uh, in terms of experience I've had with previous schools. I, I, I really think it's useful. The students love the YouTube. The school has their own YouTube channel for physics. Most of the departments have their own kind of YouTube channel and I think the school has an overall one as well. I use many video clips in my lessons and I found that 10 years ago it would have been 20 minute video clips with the whole class but now we generally use YouTube clips which are three, four minutes long. It's about the optimum time the students are engaged for three minutes. If they can watch something for three minutes that's how they learn. Mr Thompson can put videos up on the channel which are related to physics and that would, we would find useful. In lessons they use, they put it up on the big screen and watch videos, that's really useful as well. Just to show examples of the stuff that you wouldn't be able to do, like experiments or real life events. The students play a bigger part in the running of the school, even making appointments because technology allows them in many ways to express opinions. Teachers are confident in the new school that they can do things that they couldn't do in the old school. They know they can come in and plan a whole lesson around ICT activity where it's more student-centred often. The students are taking control of their own learning. To most of us, it's an eye-opener in terms of what ICT can do in organising everything. I can't imagine how bad it would be without the computers. <laughs>